what's up you guys it's your girl tkw i'm back at it with another video so if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button subscribe to the channel so you can see this lit face on your feed also don't forget to hit that bell notification so you'll be notified every time i post a video because you guys I ain't gonna lie, i'm gonna keep it all the way 100 with you all I try to, I'm really, really trying to be consistent on my YouTube channel, but baby girl, let me tell you, I'm working a full-time job and I'm a full-time student. <sighs> Life is hard. <laughs> so I just want to get on here and do like a chill type of spa day type of video with you guys. Now, in the next hour or so, me and my boyfriend... We're supposed to be going to get massages and whatnot and whatever. Hold on, y'all. My nose is running. This pollen this year has been really killing me. This, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Basically, in this video, I'm going to be like giving myself like a little facial or whatever and just talking to you guys about this hair. Um, I don't have a look at all pretty and spruced up for you guys this like sucks anyway um i'm just gonna tell you about this hair and what's going on in my life <laughs> let's get started so first thing i'm gonna do what's this oh this is witch hazel i'm gonna take some witch hazel and i'm gonna wipe it down my face so yeah so i ordered this hair Honestly, sometime at the beginning of this year, around February, I believe. Yeah, and it didn't take long. Oh, let me get my mirror. It didn't take long for the hair to actually get here. It took exactly um, four, three to four business days and whatnot for it to get here. Excuse me. And when I first got the hair, if I still got the clip on my phone when I first received the hair, then I will somehow insert it in this video. When I first received the hair, it did not stink. Um, it was soft, very soft. It didn't have that much shedding. When I first got the hair, it was a natural hair color. Um, it wasn't black, black, but it, it was, you know, like a very, very dark brown color. Look at my face. I didn't have that much stuff on there. All right. So next, I'm just going to take my toner. I got this toner from, I can never pronounce that right, but this is where I got it from. I'm just going to use that on my face. But anyway, so yeah. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Just that fast. I know I was talking about this hair. Oh, and it okay. So yeah, it was a minimum shedding, and when the hair like this is was supposed to be like straight hair, and when I when I got the hair, it wasn't completely straight. So. If you wanted it straight, straight, which I wanted, you would have to flat iron the hair. Now, throughout the time of me wearing this hair, um, it did have a slight smell to it. It wasn't too, like, not, like, it wasn't that stinky, but it did have, like, a, a slight little smell to it when I first received the hair as well. But, um, <clears throat> so I washed the hair. And I eventually wore the hair in um, its natural color before I bleached it. This color right here, which I am so happy about how that color turned out and whatnot. But um, you guys have seen the hair when it was black. And I'll insert a clip of that as well if you want to see how it looked when it was in its like the color that it came to me in. Um, I do have a few videos when I have been wearing this hair. 
and it's natural state. So, throughout me wearing this hair, um, I first want to say, it, it wasn't too bad, you know, and whatever. But, eventually, the ends would stay frizzy. The ends were raggedy. It stayed raggedy and it stayed frizzy, which I don't like um, about this hair. Eventually, down the road of me wearing it. Um, and that's before I even dyed it or bleached or anything. You can, like, you can probably see the ends frizzing up. And I would continue to put moisturizer and keep it moist on the ends. And it just still gets back frizzy. Next, I'm going to put on this little clay mask by the same brand here. Love this stuff to bits and pieces. But yeah, it will frizz up. The ends will frizz up and all that good stuff, which that's not good stuff, that bad stuff. But um, the ends would frizz up and whatnot, and I would get irritated. And so I did the whole boiling the hair in that, uh, what's that stuff called? Silicone mix. I boil this hair twice in silicone mix. Once before I bleached it and after I bleached it and dyed and all that. Honey, let me tell you. It is still, to this day, freaking the ends of frizz up. So, I bleached the hair. And after I bleached the hair, it was all cute and stuff. I bleached it this little bronze, almost copper color and whatnot. You know, little cute, little cute bronze, copper color. And I went to Atlanta with this hair and I curled it because the frizz, you can like really see the frizz of the hair after I bleached it. So it was extremely noticeable. So what I'm trying to pretty much get at, the ends of this hair is frizzy, it's outdoors. And then on top of that, after bleaching the hair, the hair from the root to the tota, it's, it's dry, so I'm like, dang, did I fry the freaking hair? Quite frankly, I feel like this hair does not take bleach too good. Like, bleaching this hair. Because I feel like it's just going to dry the freaking hair out. Um, But I bought it again, trying to put some moisture on or revive the hair and whatnot. Um, but it's it's still it's still frizzy. It's it tangles a whole lot. Like this hair tangles so freaking much. It's ridiculous how much it tangles. Like like when I went to Atlanta to turn up, the back of my hair was matted. Like really, really matted, really bad. And I was irritated the whole freaking time. Cause I'm like, I can't even be cute because the back of my hair is matted up. So that's what this hair did to me. It stayed matted and it stayed frizzed up. Um, and it sheds a whole freaking lot. This hair sheds so much, it's ridiculous. Like, I don't know if I just got a bad bunch of hair or what. I, I honestly don't know. But quite frankly, I will not be ordering for this company again. Because this is just... This is awful. I would love to enjoy this hair. I really would. But, honey, I still wear this wig because I still spent, like, a pretty penny. Not too much. You you get what you pay for. And this is... This hair... Is definitely affordable. And when I mean affordable for the inches that I got, um, which I don't remember, but it will definitely be in the description box down below. The inches that I got, I got it for a good price. So can't complain about that, honey. So this company is definitely affordable, but mm -hmm, you getting what you're paying for, boo-boo. And I think that's all I had to say about this hair. I'm not really sure if I miss anything or you guys have any questions. Don't forget to comment down below and ask me your questions. Okay, I just really forgot what I was about to say. 
y'all i'm sorry i'm sometimes i'm very scatterbrained but anyway so i'm gonna come back to you guys after this dry we're gonna talk about something else all right you guys so i was gonna do a little q a but i'm gonna make that a whole separate video but i'm fun to get ready to take this off because this is dry so this is a little different hair type of review type of video um i hope this was helpful now um if i didn't say the name of the company i hope i'm pronouncing it right but i think the name of the company was jarin hair company i do know it is a vendor off of aliexpress um link to the hair review in the description box down below if you're interested and you want to test the hair out for yourself i always tell others don't let others um opinion influence you uh into making a decision that you feel like that fits best for you if you feel like when you purchase the hair yourself and the hair it, the hair may be a different experience for you i'm just saying this particular hair i have experienced uh a bad experience with the hair i'm just going to keep it all the way 100 um i was trying to get the benefit of the doubt like sometimes i do have good days with the hair i ain't gonna lie but like quite frankly um I just wouldn't order for this company ever again because of the bad experience that I did have with this hair. So, yeah. Link to the hair will be in the description box down below. I will also link the store, um, the company store down there, and all the details of, like, the inches um, and, like, what hair dye that I use to bleach this will be in the description box down below as well. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, you guys. And that's going to be the end of this hair review. Stay tuned for many more of my videos. Peace.